Okay, Mr. O'Neill, leave your car here tomorrow morning. We'll take care of it. Okay. Hey, Bill, you want to ring this up for me? Two dollars even. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mr. O'Neill's going to leave his car here in the morning for lube and oil change. I told him we could have it for him after lunch, all right? Oh, sure. We'll have it out for him at that time. Yeah. I guess I'll knock off. Tonight's school night, you know. I don't want to be late for class. Okay, Joe. Oh, by the way, how are you making out with that course you're taking? Learning anything that'll help us here? Oh, you bet I am. I'm finding out there's a lot goes on underneath the car's hood you can't even see or hear. Yeah, some of these new models are really getting complicated. We've got to stay on our toes to keep them serviced. Then how? And we can give our customers plenty of extra service by knowing all these things. And the better service we give, the more money we make. That's right. You know, I think you're taking this course at night is going to be good for us. Say, it's getting late. You better get going, Joe. I'm on my way. How do I look? Great. Good night, Bill. See you in the morning. Okay. Fellas, tonight we're going to discuss one of the most important and most neglected parts of an automobile engine, the cooling system. Now, most people don't pay much attention to their car's cooling system other than to add water or antifreeze. And that neglect can cause them plenty of trouble and expense later on. Any good mechanic or service station operator must know how to maintain cooling systems if he wants to be of real service to his customers. As you know, water is constantly being pumped through the system when the engine is running, carrying heat away from the cylinders and passing it to the outside air through the small tubes in the radiator. And here's where we run into trouble. Water itself is corrosive to metal. But when it becomes hot, dirty, mixed with air, and sometimes combustion byproducts, its corrosive action speeds up, and then you get real damage. Now, if you just come up here, I'll show you what corrosion can do. A couple of you get over there by the wall, and someone can stand up here. Now, these, these parts were taken from a car that looked beautiful on the outside. But just take a look at the inside of this cooling system. Now, you know a water pump in this condition can't circulate water the way it should. Let's see what we can pick up with a magnet. Let's take a look inside the water jacket and see what we can find. All this rust, scale, and dirt on the inside of the water jacket acts as insulation, keeping the heat inside the engine instead of transferring it to the water. Here's another good example of what happens in a badly corroded cooling system. This radiator core is clogged up with rust and dirt. That means that the water flow through the radiator is cut down. Very few people know about this water distribution tube, which directs the flow of coolant to the various parts of the engine that need cooling most, such as the exhaust valves. But as you can see by the condition of this tube, it's not going to do much distributing of water. Here's one, for example, that has been completely rusted away. Improper distribution of water can cause serious damage to the engine. Burned valves, cracked cylinder block, scored cylinder walls, improper lubrication, and many other troubles. The corrosion you see on these parts was caused by improper maintenance of the cooling system and nothing else. Okay, fellas, you can go back to your seats. Remember, fellas, you can save your customers a lot of time, trouble, and money by properly servicing cooling systems. According to a survey by Motor Service, in 1953 alone, four and a half million radiators had to be repaired, and another 600,000 had to be replaced. And probably most of these jobs were caused by cooling system neglect. Even a small repair job like replacing a water pump can cost much more than proper cooling system maintenance. 
Now that we've seen the trouble rust and corrosion can cause, what can we do about it? Well, we can do plenty about it. With a small amount of servicing, a cooling system can be kept in very good condition almost indefinitely. Here's a basic fact to remember. In order to prevent corrosion, the cooling system must be protected at all times with a good corrosion inhibitor. At least twice a year, the cooling system should be drained, flushed, and cleaned if necessary. In the spring, the cooling system should be filled with fresh, clean water with a good inhibitor for hot summer driving. In the fall, add a good brand of antifreeze, which already has inhibitor added to it. Yes, did you have a question? Yes, you're talking about the regular methanol antifreeze now, aren't you? I'm talking about both methanol and ethylene glycol types. Both of them, if they're made by a reputable manufacturer, contain effective corrosion inhibitor. No, I mean you're talking about methanol when you say to drain the cooling system in the spring, because... No, sir. You're wrong, Charlie. I'm talking about both types. Both should be drained and thrown away. They've done their job. But aren't permanent antifreezes good for two or three years? I know several people, customers of mine, who leave permanent antifreeze in their cars the year round. They haven't been bothered with their cars freezing up. You're missing the point, George. We're concerned here with corrosion and efficient engine operation. We're not talking about freezing. We're talking about protecting the engine against damage and keeping it up to top power. To do this, we must use new antifreeze for every winter season and properly service the cooling system every spring. Well, I don't get it. I've been telling my customers to leave permanent antifreeze in. I thought it was permanent. I did too. Well, wait a minute. Well, wait a minute. When your wife gets a permanent, you don't expect her hair to be curly forever, do you? Well, it's the same way with antifreeze. Ethylene glycol antifreeze protects the cooling system against freezing and corrosion for one full winter season. Not forever. Leaving antifreeze in for more than one season is dangerous. And sooner or later, it will cause the inside of the cooling system to look like that one. Look at the facts. After an antifreeze solution has been used all winter, there may not be enough inhibitor left to keep the engine from corroding during hot weather driving, even if it appears to be perfectly clean. The inhibitor can be completely used up. The only way you could tell for sure would be to have a chemical analysis made. And that would cost a lot more than new antifreeze. Here's a test sample of each of the metals used in the cooling system. Steel, cast iron, copper, solder, aluminum, and brass. And here's a test sample that has been standing in an antifreeze solution which was drained from a car after more than one winter's use. Now I'll pour off this solution. See this sediment that is collected in the bottom of this jar? This sediment is corroded metal. Because the inhibitor had all been used up, the solution attacked the test metals. Uh, you wouldn't think it would be It'll stop a car. Now, if that much rust and corrosion can be produced in this jar by a worn out antifreeze solution, you can just imagine how much you'd get in the whole system. That sediment, of course, would foul up the cooling system and you'd have a badly overheated engine. How about adding a new inhibitor to the old antifreeze? Wouldn't that be okay? No, that's dangerous too. The biggest disadvantage is that we don't know what would happen by adding new inhibitor. For one thing, it will certainly build up solids in the system and cause scale to form. And then we might add a different kind of inhibitor from the one that was in the antifreeze to start with. This could cause foaming, precipitation, and all sorts of trouble. Sometimes we'd make the solution even more corrosive by adding new inhibitor than if we'd left it alone. In short, adding new inhibitor is dangerous because we just don't know what might happen. And most of the possibilities are bad. Well, I, I can see this is important, but it's all pretty hard to explain when you get down to talking to a customer about it. After all, you can't see inside his engine. You can't show him the corrosion. Well, that's true, Joe. You can't show him the inside of his engine. But you've seen tonight the damage that corrosion can cause. You're convinced, aren't you, Joe, of the importance of keeping cooling systems clean and free of corrosion? And why can't you convince your customer in the same way? Keep a couple of parts like this around to show him and explain to him that the same thing can happen to his engine. Remind him that corrosion protection is needed more in the summer than in the winter. 
since hot weather driving could form rust 30 times faster than cold weather driving. I think I can get the rust and corrosion idea across, but some of my customers might say they'll take a chance. If they could see some immediate results, maybe they'd go for this cooling system maintenance. But there is an immediate benefit. You see, antifreeze is made to keep the engine from freezing in the wintertime. It does not have the same capacity for absorbing heat that water does. So it'll cause the engine to run hot in the summertime. And as you know, a hot running engine loses power. In fact, tests have shown that leaving old antifreeze in the cooling system during hot driving months amounts to cutting up to four and a half points off the octane rating of the gas used. This means that a customer gets poorer performance out of good high octane gasoline if he leaves old antifreeze in the cooling system during the summertime than he used to get out of old fashioned regular gas with a clean cooling system. And if he's using premium gasoline, this customer is wasting enough money on every tank full to buy an extra gallon and a half of gas. You mean it makes that much difference in the mileage he gets? No, I mean cash money. Look, premium gas costs an average of three cents more per gallon than regular gas. The average tank holds 17 gallons. So it costs the customer 51 cents more for a tank full of premium gas than for regular. Now, if he wastes the extra octane of his premium gas by driving with old antifreeze in his cooling system, he is wasting 51 cents on every tank full. Enough to buy an extra gallon and a half of gas. You can assure your customers that they will get better performance and longer life from their cars if they keep the cooling systems clean. Remember this. Leading authorities recognize the danger of corrosion and the importance of cooling system maintenance. Let me quote a few of them. Here's what the Society of Automotive Engineers says. Where antifreeze has been used, drain the solution in the spring, flush the system thoroughly and clean if necessary. Then install a fresh filling of summer rust inhibitor and water. The American Automobile Association. Motorists can avert many repair bills, often $75 or more for a new radiator, by checking the cooling system in their automobiles. Even the best antifreeze should not be used a second season. Changing cooling solutions makes the same good sense as changing motor oil. And finally, the National Bureau of Standards of the United States Department of Commerce. In order to maintain maximum protection against corrosion, drain the antifreeze solution after one winter's use. Under no circumstances should antifreeze solution remain in the cooling system during the summer. Now, I've had these made into reprints, which I think would be a good idea for you to take with you. Would you mind handing them out? Thanks. Fellows, you owe it to yourselves and to your customers to offer cooling system service. Your customers look to you for this service. They look to you to keep their cars in top shape. The way to build a steady, profitable business is to cultivate customers who know you have their interest at heart. Remember that. You've got a real story to tell on cooling system care. A story that will certainly impress any customer who is interested in keeping his car up to top shape and getting maximum power, performance, and life from his engine. So make sure you explain spring drain out and cooling system care to every single customer. Okay, fellas, that's all for tonight. And after last night's class, I'm convinced that the cooling system is just as important as the lubrication system, Bill. Last night was one of the most interesting sessions we've ever had. I think we ought to really put on a drive to clean our customers' cooling systems this spring, starting right now. Well, I knew the cooling system should be kept in pretty good shape, but I didn't realize how important it is. I think you're right, Joe. We'll make a real campaign out of spring drain out. It ought to make plenty of goodwill for us. And goodwill is what we build our business on. And so Bill and I really put on a drive for spring cooling system service. We didn't find our customers at all hard to sell on the idea. In fact, most of them acted as though they really appreciated our concern for their welfare. Practically all of our regular customers came in for a spring drain out. And you'd be surprised at the extra profits we made too. Profits you wouldn't think of from just a regular service job. We sold plenty of corrosion inhibitor, of course, but we moved a lot of fan belts, hoses, and thermostats, too, in addition to creating a lot of customer goodwill. Bill and I have found one of the best ways to convince a customer that you're interested in his welfare is by explaining to him the intangible things that can cause him trouble, 
such as improper care of his cooling system, and showing him how he can avoid these troubles by bringing his car to us for servicing. And you know, I've never forgotten that lesson at night school. Here's some things we always keep handy to show to a skeptical customer. Badly corroded engine parts. And quotations from the Society of Automotive Engineers, the American Automobile Association, and the National Bureau of Standards. These things are real clinchers to your cooling system story. So take a tip from me, fellas. Push spring drain out and cooling system checkup to your customers. You'll find it's plenty profitable, and your customers will appreciate your interest in their welfare, too. So start right now telling your customers the importance of cooling system service. You'll be building a list of steady customers who'll stick with you. And that's the kind who keep your cash register ringing. Believe me, I know.